Good afternoon, Walter. Do you listen to me? Hello, Stanley Ernesto. Yes, okay, great. Hello, hello, Stanley Ernesto. Okay, aha, uh -huh. yesterday hello. we were missing you. What happened to you yesterday? You took vacation, correct? Uh -huh. I, I sleep, teacher. <laughs> ah, I slept like the sleeping beauty. Okay, you know yes. Sleeping Beauty? I'm going to write it over here. Sleeping Beauty. Y yesterday you Sorry. became a Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> sleeping Beauty. Okay, like this. Oh, it is missing an E. Sleeping Beauty? De yo durmiente ayer. Yes? Okay. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. And we were missing. <laughs> and I was about I, I to cry. Ayer le ganó el sueño. Qué bárbaros. Oiganme niños, sí. ¿cómo vamos en la plataforma? Ya adelantaron. En la plataforma de aprendizaje, sí. shame on you, Stanley. Qué barbaridad. Sí. Mire, ahí hay uno que en cero están. No, oh, qué barbaridad. Miren, el otro sábado no tenemos clase porque es Father's Day. It is a national holiday. ¿Y está ok? El próximo sábado no vamos a tener clase porque es el Día del Padre, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces yo voy a necesitar que usted... Sí. No, domingo tampoco, no me ha programado nada a mí. Veamos qué día vamos a tener la próxima... Oh, ya, yeah. <risa> vacation. Sí. Um, veamos, veamos. John... No, fíjense que vamos a tener clase hasta el 24, de acuerdo a la programación, el viernes, el sábado 24, porque como el 17 no, entonces nos estaríamos viendo en 15 days, correct, in two weeks. Por lo tanto, yo necesito que avancen lo más posible en la plataforma. Por ejemplo, eh, Wilfredo, Cristian Wilfredo, él sí, ¿verdad? Week number one and week number two, section one and two. Pero... Para este fin de semana, bueno, van a tener tiempo suficiente para que me hagan el midterm test y trabajen las secciones 3 y 4. Algunos, ¿verdad, señor Stanley y señor Walter? Van a tener que trabajar la sección 1, 2, 3 y 4 y el midterm, ¿correct? Y también el yes, midterm. Yes. Oh, Yo yes, las yes. empecé, pero no, la, no las he terminado. Empecé la, la, esta, la, okay. me falta la última actividad de la sección 1 y la sección 2, me falta la última actividad, pero ya, okay. ya avancé. Sí, pero yo le llevo ahí los A mí eso es lo que me falta. Ok, great, excelente. Y en los videos y en los audios, si llegan a tener algún problema, ahí lo comentan, por favor, en, en el chat, ¿verdad? Para ver si les podemos ayudar, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces, por eso no, yo... No, ahorita por el momento todo bien. Todo nice. Everything blue, everything ok. Excellent, great. Entonces, oigan, mis chicos, por eso yo necesito que, como el otro fin de semana no tenemos clase, que me avance lo más posible. Section. Secciones 1, 2, 3, 4 y el midterm. Y el midterm, ok. Para que no lo sientan muy pesado, ¿verdad? Porque como se de repente se me convierte en Sleeping Beauties. En bellos durmientes y bellas durmientes, y yo crying, crying, waiting for you here. Yesterday I had Christian Wilfredo and Carlos Luis. They were here. Ayer estaban acá esos compañeros. Estaba Edward, I had Beatriz, correct. Tenía Beatriz también. Eh, ¿Quién más estuvo? Ah, Glenda, we were missing her yesterday. Ayer estuvimos también extrañando a Glenda, ¿verdad? A la mayoría. Ah, Ricardo was here. Thank you for joining, Ricardo and Glenda. Ok, estuvo acá presente. Ajá. Y ustedes in the nice asleep, en el noveno sueño. No, lo que pasa es que yo temprano fui a tramitar mi licencia de conducir. Entonces oh. me agarró la tarde y ya viene como a la una. Y le dije sí, a la tarde. cosa, va. Ajá. Ay, me despertarle. Pero dije que estaba como ya más muerta. Que mm, ok, y en she called, en she dial 911. Ella marcó el 911 para que Ay, make Dios. sure that, she, that you were alive. Ok, welcome, la, Glenda. La, la welcome. La, 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 la. Ah, the operator. Okay, Hello, great. Peter. Hello, welcome. We were missing you yesterday. Ayer la extrañamos, niña Glenda. Estaba dormida. A sleeping beauty, another sleeping beauty, ok. So, now you have a lot of energy. So, class, sleeping. let's... Sleeping, sleeping, and sleeping. sleeping. 
Okay, so now we're going to have a short feedback on what we did yesterday, okay? Ayer más que todo fue práctica. Hablar, speaking, speaking, and speaking. And I'm going to share my PPT with you guys, okay? So you can uh, be aware of what we did yesterday, right? Remember that today is our class number four. Hoy es nuestra clase número cuatro. And... Uh, we're going to, okay, the welcoming is what, okay, I uh, do every single day. I welcome you to my class, and I am so glad, so happy that you are here with a lot of energy in order to practice and learn the language. We're going to have, as I promised, in what we do every day, a short feedback, correct, on what we did and studied yesterday. Today, we're going to go over uh, this topic, does it have a view, you know, view, a nice view, tiene una vista, tiene vista, okay, but talking about uh, a special view, yeah, una vista bonita, do, does, short answers, word power, there is and there are, I expect, okay, so here, let's continue, and uh, I would like one of you to help me reading the specific objective and the class objective. Who is going to help me? Only one? One volunteer? Aye. Okay, please, Walter. Dígame, dígame. Okay, Walter, I need you to read the specific objective. Uh, um... Read and of the class, you will learn vocabulary for talking about place in the house and apartment. Thank you so to much. Learn vocabulary. Okay. <laughs> to learn vocabulary for talking about place in the house and apartment. Excellent. Very well. So today we're going to be practicing and learning vocabulary for talking about places in houses and apartments, okay? Yes, and here again, a reminder about homeworks and evaluations. You know that it is necessary to get the 80% as an average in homeworks and evaluations so you can finish and complete the course in a good way. The homeworks are, you know, in the learning platform. And it is uh, suggested to work exactly after the class. So you have fresh the learning, okay? And you can go over the exercises ahead so you feel more relaxed. All the homeworks and topics that are covered need to be completed before every Friday, but with you, I think that maybe by tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow at midnight. So I can um, update your grades on Monday, yes? Para mañana creo yo que me van a adelantar más en la plataforma, ¿verdad, chicos? So I can update your grades para que yo les pueda actualizar las notas en la plataforma, ¿de acuerdo? Okay, because Gracias, remember... Okay. Hola. En la que usted nos dio, podemos adelantar así, tranquilamente, para entenderla mejor. Sí, correcto, así es. Sí. Sí, así es. Ustedes van trabajando, trabajando y trabajando los ejercicios y acá hacemos las prácticas, ¿verdad? Y si hay alguna consulta, pues me preguntan vía chat. Y ahí, en la medida que tenga tiempo, yo les contesto. ¿Ok? And then, because remember that they sent a report about you to InstaCorp. And the material is shared via WhatsApp, okay? Week number one, semana uno, sección una y dos, que ya debe de estar cubierto. En la semana dos, sección tres y el midterm. Yo les estoy pidiendo que si es posible adelanten en la semana tres, la sección cuatro, ¿por qué? Porque next weekend, next week, we don't have a class. El otro, la otra semana, el otro fin, no tenemos clase. Nos vamos a estar viendo nuevamente hasta el 24 de junio. That is why I need you to go further. Todo ese tiempo que no vamos a tener clase, necesito que ustedes me vayan trabajando en la plataforma, ¿de acuerdo? And then, here we go. Uh -huh. 
okay, you know about the rules, yeah? The microphone off, the attendance list, I'm going to call your names later on, your full name over here, cameras on, active participation as you have every day, congratulations for that uh, attitude. We have the two chats via WhatsApp and via Zoom available. You raise your hand because I don't see you. When I am sharing my screen, I don't see your faces. Or when you say me, teacher, or yo, or I want to participate, you need to raise your hand because the platform tells me. For example, Glenda has uh, the hand raised or has raised the hand, okay? And the respect above all as every single day. And here you have general reminders about the attendance um, politics, okay? Attendance 80% advanced as much as possible in the development of the platform. Uh, you need to complete the required minutes, 120 minutes every day, and to work in the platform and the attendance to the classes in order to get your diploma. And here we go. This is what we were working with uh, yesterday, the simple present statements. And the idea here was to establish the difference in simple present with the verbs in third person singular. Why? Because when we use in simple present tense the verbs, okay, we need to make a change. And yesterday, sorry, okay, yesterday we were agreeing class that when generally we add letter S to the verbs, when we conjugate them with he, she, or it. But if the verb ends in O, like go, do, for example, we add ES. Does, he does the homework. She goes to school every morning, for example, okay? And we were working in the completion of this uh, short paragraph. Also, we established the contractions don't equals do not, doesn't equals does not, yeah? And then we moved over the simple present statements with irregular verbs. Some irregular verbs are have. Why irregular? Because we say, I have a bike, you have a bike, we have a bike, they have a bike. But for he, she, it, the verb changes. And we say, my father has a car, or he has a car, she has a car, it has a car. We do our homework every day. My mother does a lot of work at home. My parents go to work by bus. My parents, plural, my mother and my father is similar if you say they go to work by bus, okay? The bus goes downtown. The bus is, it goes, because it is a thing, the bus. El bus es una cosa. That is why we say the bus goes downtown, okay? And then, we were making the choice according to the subject if it was the first or the second alternative, correct? After that, we were working with um, this exercise about the pronunciation, which was a kind of feedback, and we work with the simple present questions with do and does. And we agree that we say, do you, do we, do they, why yeah does he does she does it and then with this time expressions we completed this exercise okay after that we went through this other exercise at page 40 and we were unscrambling these words in order to write complete sentences okay questions and then we went over this information and we were reading and practicing this conversation. And we also went over exercise A. You were reading the article deeply and you were numbering these events according to the logical and the information that you have in the, in the interviews, yeah? 
and we did it, okay? And you also wrote five sentences about your schedule, about your routine, yeah? And here we also were working with this short conversation about uh, being on vacations, yeah? You use your imagination. And we ended up with the completion of this uh, survey with the lifestyle that you have. And here also, before we ended the class, you completed this table, okay? With your routines on weekdays, your routines on weekends, and your daily routine, what you do every single day. Is that okay? We finish here. So right now we have, does it have a view, a panoramic view? But right now I think we're going to move to the platform. Let me see if it is available. It should be. Okay, hold it, please. Because um, it was supposed to be over here. I am updating it. Where is it? Okay, over here, over here, and we go over the learning platform. There is no problem. Okay, over here. Ah. Lesson two. Okay, let me see the previous one. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to share with you. Okay, hold it. I'm going to close so you can have a better. And right now, over here, class, this is what you are expected to do. Because since yesterday, okay, we practice with these conversations, it is your knowledge check. So in here, you have to read this article, then number the activities in each person's schedule. Select the number from one to five, yeah? Similar to what we did yesterday in class. Do you remember? So it is a piece of cake for you because we already did it in class yesterday. Is that okay? Okay, so that is why it is important for you to go over these activities after class. And then let's see the next one. Okay, lesson two objective and we have the objective for today okay what you help me reading and here vocabulary house and apartment i need you to pay close attention because um later on you're going to be describing your house i think or your apartment i don't know if you live in a house or in an apartment the question should be do you live in a house or in an apartment okay but now let's focus on the presentation. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn vocabulary for talking about places in houses and apartments. Do you listen class? Hello? Yes, Hello? teacher. Oh, yes, Hello, okay. Teacher. Okay, hold it. I don't know what happened let's, here. Ah. Let's get started by listening and repeating. House. House. The okay. house has two floors, house. a garage, house. and a yard. Floors. A garage and a yard. The first floor has a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a laundry room, kitchen. and stairs to the second floor. The second floor has a hall, three bedrooms, and a bathroom. Every bedroom has a closet. Apartment. The apartment building has a lobby and an elevator. Every apartment has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a closet. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just heard. I would like for you to describe your home. Let me provide the following questions to help you do that. What rooms are in your house? What rooms are in houses in your country? What rooms are in apartments in your country? After you complete this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. I know. 
Okay, so we have in here, let me see. Okay, I want you to pay close attention because we are going to answer. We are going to answer the questions that the presenter is uh, requesting from you, but you are going to click over here. When it says add a, uh, uh, okay, your information, añade una publicación, acá hacen clic y ahí lo van a escribir. Pero primero, escuchamos nuevamente, okay? We're going to listen again. Pay close attention. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for talking about places in houses and apartments. Let's get started by listening and repeating. House. The house has two floors, a garage, and a yard. The first floor has a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a laundry room, and stairs to the second floor. The second floor has a hall, three bedrooms, and a bathroom. Every bedroom has a closet. Apartment. The apartment building has a lobby and an elevator. Every apartment has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a closet. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just heard. I would like for you to describe your home. Let me provide the following questions to help you do that. What rooms are in your house? Okay, here is the point, okay, class? You're going to answer these three questions and your answers are going to be added in the uh, blue box that I showed you, okay, over here. In here, you're going to write the answers. The first question, what rooms are in your house? And then we're going to start probably by saying, okay. Then we're going to practice with the vocabulary. And you may say, in my house, there are uh, three bedrooms, um, but it should be with capital letter. The, and this should be number one, yes? In my house, there are three bedrooms. There is a kitchen. There is a kitchen. There is a living room. There is a dining room where people eat. A dining room. A dining room. Um, there is a dining room. So in my house, there are three bedrooms. There is a kitchen. There is a living room. There is a dining room. And that's it because it is about rooms. Yes? That is an example. Now, question number two. What is the question? Do you remember? Hello? No, you don't remember. Question number two. Let's read it. Okay, question number two is, okay, over here, let me see, is what rooms are in your houses in your country? What rooms are in your, are in houses in your country? So it is in general, okay, in our country, in El Salvador. Hello, Emperatriz, welcome. So you may say class. Okay, yeah. And then we may say like this. This could be for number two, yes? Yes, yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. In my country, 
houses uh, have, what rooms do we have in our country? In, in I mean, in, in the houses in our country. In my countries, how, in my country houses have the basic rooms? Mm -hmm. uh, in my country houses have bedrooms? Yes or no? Los dormitorios. Yes. What else? Mm. A kitchen? Yes. A room for the kitchen. Living room. Living room sala. Okay. Another one. Ah, dining room. Restroom. Dining room. A comedor. And restrooms. Yeah. And restrooms. Rest, restrooms. Okay. And that is for number two. Because that is in general what it is expected that we can find in the different houses in our country. Is that okay? Okay. Now, question number three. Okay, question number three. What rooms are mm -hmm. in apartment in your country? Ah, in an apartment, because this is in houses, okay? So in apartments, that should be number three. Now that you have this vocabulary, you're going to dictate to the teacher. So we say, in my country, apartments have, what can we find in an apartment? Remember that sometimes apartments are smaller than a house. But some other times they are larger than a house, yeah? Apartments have, mm, okay, um, living room. Okay, very well. Another one? Restroom. Restroom. Kitchen. Yeah, kitchen. Another uh, room. bedrooms. Bedroom. With bedrooms. Nothing else. Bedrooms. Only that. Only that. Kitchen, kitchen, living room, restroom, living room, restroom, kitchen, bedroom. Only Are that. very small. Sometimes and sometimes they are larger um, than yeah the ones that are uh, near near multiplaza they are mm -hmm, uh, they are larger than a house but they are extremely expensive obviously right okay so I think that uh generally mm. that is what they have a uh, living room restroom kitchen bedroom basically yeah. Uh, Closet. I know, but it is about uh, rooms, yeah? Because mm. the question is about rooms. Later on, okay. we're going to continue with that vocabulary, okay? Okay. Okay, so you tell me when we can move to the next activity, because remember, you have to type this in the discussion, in the discussion space of the, of the platform.
you tell me when you finish, okay, class? Hello, Carlos Luis. I don't understand activity. It is in the platform. Okay. Were you out? Did you listen to the speaker? Escuchó al presentador del video. Sería responder las preguntas entonces. Yes, these three questions over here. You click, añade una publicación. And you answer these three questions. Mm -hmm. And those are the questions that we have uh, written as brainstorming. Okay. In here. That's it. Teacher, tell me. Hi, teacher. Hey, a question. Yes, tell me. Eh, ¿Cómo sería eh, para separarlo del de baño que el valga la redundancia que es para bañarse y el baño para las necesidades? Ah, toilet. Pero okay. toilet no toilet. es el, 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 el ya la taza. Es que el toilet es para solamente el inodoro. Es, ah, es, es el toilet, Ajá, sí, porque re... ahí es el toilet. Porque ahí solamente va a encontrar Pero... en, ese, en ese cuartito el, el inodoro. Es el toilet. Ejemplo, ah, en, en, no... en un almacén, usted va a encontrar la palabra toilets, porque van individuales. Hay varios, pero son individuales y exactamente están los toilets. ¿Sí? Toilets. Uh -huh. I have a question. Okay. Yes, uh, Carlos. Okay. Thank you. Anexando lo que decía el compañero, este, yo mm -hmm. había escuchado que, por ejemplo, el, el baño de bañarse del bathroom y el otro era el restroom. Mm -hmm. Es que el restroom no eh, es más amplio, ¿sí? Usualmente es como se tiene que utilizar la forma correcta sería restroom for example in a hotel but in a five stars hotel because you find a big uh, mirror you have the toilets you have different sinks 
And also there is um, a sofa where you may wait. That is why it is restroom. Maybe you have noticed in the movie films that they say, I need to go to the uh, restroom for uh, checking my makeup. Yeah. Para es como tocador. Sí. Porque también hay un sillón donde usted puede esperar. Usted va acá al Hotel Plaza, al Hotel Presidente, y esos son los restrooms. Ahí va a encontrar eso. ¿Ya? Yeah? Restroom. But some people write restroom, which is not the restroom, because we have the shower, and you have the toilet, and you have the sink where you can wash your hands. Yes? That is the difference, but toilet is exactly only the toilet. Mm -hmm. That is the difference. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. In bathroom, some people say bathroom, yeah? That is another word where you can find the toilet and the sink at the same time. For example, we have the social um, bathroom. Because in the social bathroom in our houses is only for visitors, where you can find the sink and you can find the, the toilet. Yes, only for visitors. That is the social bathroom. And the restroom is bigger. Okay? In a social club or in the hotels, they have the real restrooms. But we say restroom, may go to the restroom or to the bathroom. But toilet is exactly that. That is a good question. Shall we continue class with the next activity? Or not yet? Not yet. No, one moment. Okay. I have shared a short video about the topic, okay? Because in a spoken English, you have an explanation, but I cannot share it here because it goes to YouTube. So you check it later on. It is about bathroom and restroom. Okay, class, now it's time to continue. If you are not over, I suggest you to take a, a screenshot, okay, capture a screenshot, and then you continue because time is running, okay? Shall we?
Okay, we're going to continue because you need to practice speaking. And it goes like this. Let's continue in the platform, okay? We go over the next one. And here is about yes, no questions. So let's listen. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to respond to yes or no questions in the simple present. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about an apartment, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation. My new apartment. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Now, let's try to understand simple present short answers. I would like for you to notice the chart on the screen. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. We'll start on the left side of this chart. Let's look at the question, do you live in an apartment? The way we answer this type of question is by saying, yes, I do, or no, I don't. When responding to yes or no questions, we will typically answer in this way. It's important that we recall a rule that I explained a few lessons ago. The auxiliary to use when forming questions and short answers in the simple present is the following. For the pronouns, I, you, we, and they, do, or don't. For the pronouns, he, she, and it, does, or doesn't. Now, if you see the example, do the bedrooms have windows? Because we're talking about bedrooms, plural, we're going to use the pronoun they and the auxiliary do or don't. So the answer can be positive by saying, yes, they do. Or negative by saying, no, they don't. Let's analyze one more example. Does Chris live in a house? Because we're talking about Chris, singular, and third person, we're going to use the pronoun he and the auxiliary does or doesn't. So the answer can be positive by saying, yes, he does, or negative by saying, no, he doesn't. Now it's your turn to practice by making yes or no questions and making short answers. Ask questions about the houses or apartments of your friends, relatives, and coworkers. And make short answers as well. Whenever you finish this task, Please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, what did the presenter ask you to write? Hagan preguntas sobre las casas o apartamentos de sus amigos, parientes y compañeros de trabajo. Respondan con respuestas cortas y correctamente cuando terminen esta tarea. Por favor, compartan su trabajo en nuestros foros de discusión. Over here. So, what could be one question? 
¿Cuál podría ser una pregunta? Hello. ¿De, de, qué, de qué color es el cuarto de mi amigo? What color is your is your room? ¿Ya? Yeah. Pero ahí, ahí es information question y tiene que ser a uh, yes no question. Is your bedroom white, for example? Yes. Ah, no, pero fíjese que ahí no, 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 because it is with the verb to be. Do you have, um, let's see, do you have a white bedroom? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes or no? Because that is the answer that the presenter is requiring from you. Okay, so we're going to build the short uh, answers and questions. Yes, no questions. Okay, so hold it. Over here, I'm going to erase this part, this part, and this part. So let's try to build some uh, three or four questions, okay, in general. And here we go. Or do you live in a big house? Yes? Could it be possible? Do you live in a big house? And then you may answer, yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Yes? Yes, I do or no, I don't. Now, tell me another question that begins with do you. Do you have a yard? Do you have a yard in your house? Yes. Do you have a yard in your house? And I'm going to leave it like that because you have to answer according to your real information. Is that okay? You may answer, yes, I do, if it is affirmative or no, I don't, to the answer. Do you have a yard in your house? Now, tell me another question. For example, does your mm, house, because you don't live in an apartment, does your house have mm, a big kitchen? Then the answer should be, yes, it does or no, it doesn't, according to your reality, yes? We write yes, because the subject is your house. That's your house. Okay? Yes, it does or no, it doesn't. Correct. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yeah. So we have one, two, three questions. One more. Tell me one more question. What about windows? A small or big windows? Do you have window in the bedroom? Podría ser ah, una excellent, aquí. yes. Do you have windows in your bedroom? Excellent. In your bedroom? Yes, I do, or no, I don't. Excellent. Great. And you write that in the, with the answer, obviously, okay, in the platform. Is that okay? You write the four questions and you answer according to your reality. Because nobody else is going to see it, only in the platform.
Teacher, do you lamp in your living room? Do you have a lamp in your living room? Yes, excellent. Yes, I do or no, I don't. I'm going to write that extra. Do you have a lamp in your living room? Yes, I do or no, I don't, okay? Una pregunta, teacher. Does he have CD player in the house, in, in your house? No. If you no. say that o sea, he is in his, because it is like if no you ask me, él. for uh -huh, it is like if you ask me, for example, about Carlos, you tell me, teacher, does Carlos have a CD player in his house? And then I say, Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Yes? Yes. Okay. But the question is correct very well. Okay. You tell me, class, when we can move to the next activity because I need you to practice speaking. Okay? Shall we continue? Yes? Hello? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, if you want to, you may take a screenshot, okay? Because we need to go over the next activity. Time is flying. And here we go. Okay, let's see. Over here. Now, class, we're going to practice. And this is what you have in your manual. Okay. This is what you have in your manual. Does it have a view? Then we have house. This is the vocabulary the presenter was telling you. House and apartment. Let's see what is, uh, okay. Thank you. What is different in each? In a house, you may have a first floor and a second floor, but in, but in an apartment, no, okay? And then we have the dining room, kitchen, the laundry room, the stairs, the living room, and the yard. We have over here on the second floor, bedroom, bedroom, bathroom and bathroom. Notice that here they have a bathtub. Bathtub means um, 
Latina. And you have, uh, okay, the sink and the toilet. But we have also the hall, el pasillo. We have stairs, yeah? And in here, we have the garage. But in an apartment, we have a bathroom, a bedroom, dining room, kitchen, living room. They have the elevator. And they have also a closet, yeah? In the houses, in our country and in other countries, you may have a closet for each bedroom, yes? Because you don't share the closet. And it is supposed that in some uh, houses, you have a walking closet if the uh, bedroom is very big because it is a bigger closet, it is a walking closet, yeah? And then we have the garage. But also here, these are the, the, the answers that we provided. Now it is the time for you to practice this conversation. The conversation is uh, between Linda and Chris. And we have, guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's, what's it like? What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? Where is it? ¿Dónde queda? ¿Dónde está ubicado? ¿Dónde está? Oh, Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Now, please repeat after me, class. I would like you to activate your microphones and repeat after the teacher. Yes, Carlos, tell me your question. Yes. What do you mean in Lakeview Drive? Lakeview Drive, that is the address. Esta es la dirección. Uh -huh. Lakeview Drive, es la dirección de la calle. Mm -hmm. Lakeview, uh -huh. Lakeview literally vista al lago okay sobre eh, la calle o avenida vista al lago lake view mm -hmm. any other question no no okay so please uh, if you are ready repeat after me guess what yes what yes what I have a new apartment. I have a new apartment. I have a new apartment. That's great. That's, That's great. great. What's it like? What's it like? What's it like? What is it's like? really beautiful. It's really it's beautiful. Really beautiful. beautiful. Is it big? Is it very big? Yes. It's, it's, it's very big. Very big. Well, it has a big living room. Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a small bedroom, a bathroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. In the kitchen. Where is it? Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. How does it? Uh, does it have a view? Does it have a view? Yes, it does. Yes, yes, yes it, it does. does. It has a great view. It's it has a great view. view of it has a great view. It, of it has a great view, view, view of of another apartment building. Another apartment, oh, no, apartment building. building. So it means that the her apartment buildings uh, is here and the other building with apartment is, is, is in front. So it doesn't have a nice view because she says in a sarcastic way, it has a great view of another apartment building. You know how they are built, yeah? Okay, so this is the conversation you're going to be practicing right now in the breakout rooms and you switch roles, okay? Is it clear the instruction? We are at page 44. I'm going to transfer you to the breakout room so you can practice, okay? 
you're going to be in groups because I cannot uh, ask the platform to group you in pairs. If you lose the connectivity, you're going to be in trouble, okay? So right now, I'm going to send you the invitation, okay? Join your groups, please. And take turns and switch roles. Practicing the conversation, please. Ricardo, go to your group. And Walter Mauricio, please join your group. I need you in your group, Ricardo Flores. And Walter Mauricio, please join your groups. Thank you. Walter, great. Hola. Yes. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher, no es inicial. Tell me, how can I help you? I don't know. Yes. Yes. Do you have the manual? Yes. Or do you want me to share the picture via WhatsApp? No, that's okay. Sí, teacher, podrían ver la, el, el WhatsApp, la, la, la imagen, por de okay. la conversación. Ok, okay. hold it for a while, please. Ok. I'm going to check over here. And over here. Ok. But hold it. Because I'm going to... Ok, over here. Let me see. Give me one second. Okay, there you are. You have it in the group. Okay. Begin practicing, please. You are here by Emperatriz, Stanley, and Christian Wilfredo, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. okay. On lay be dry. On night, doves eat hot a meal. Oh, night. Does it have a view? Does it have a view? It have a view. Uh -huh. Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay. Otra vez. Yeah. Where's, where's what? I have a new apartment. That's great. That's a lie. It's really beautiful. It is very big. Well, it has a big living room and a small bedroom in bathroom and in kitchen. Where is it? Um, liking Ray. Lay view. Lay view drive. Lay, lay view drive. See? Ah, see? Lay view. Lay view lay view. drive. Lake view. Lake view drive. Let you dry. Yes. Oh, nice. Let Does it dry. have a view? Yes, it does. 
it has a great uh, view of an offer apartment pure building. 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 Yes. Another okay. classmate. Uh, you have Glenda and Walter Mauricio. Bye. Glenda. Glenda. Hello, Glenda. I'm here. A ver si quieres comenzar tú, Glenda. Después te sigo yo. Glenda. Glenda, we want to listen to you. Loudly. No, she's not talking. Hable, Glenda. Está activado el micrófono. Okay, maybe while she fixes that problem, maybe Walter can practice with Carlos or Ricardo. Okay, who is going to practice with Walter because Glenda is having problems with her microphone? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I need one of you to practice with uh, Walter. ¿Quién va a practicar con Walter? Porque Glenda está teniendo problemas con el micrófono. Carlos, would you like to? Quien guste, eh. Sí, sí. Ok, ok, si Carlos. Quiere, en... Si quiere conmigo porque siento que me cuesta un poquito más. Ah, ok, que a, great. A Carlos ok, ok, ok. Para practice. Ok, uh, Richard. Y después que practique con Carlos atrás. <risa> ok, Richard oh, and Walter. Yes. Richard and Walter. <risa> Vaya. Ok. ¿Quién? Tú o yo, ¿quién comienza primero? Usted es linda. Sí, yo voy a ser linda. Usted. Ok. Okay. Bye. Bye. Guess what? I have a new apartment. What's great? What is life? That's great. What's I like? It is very big. Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom. A bedroom and a kitchen. Where is that? Where is where it is? Where is it? Oh, let you dry. Oh, nice. That is hot. Uh, beam. View. 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 Now yes, switch. View. Has, oh, sorry. It has a green view of another apartment building. Okay. Ya pudo uh, No. No. No, she's still fixing. No, entonces. Yeah. Uh, ahora eso yo, Linda, y usted. Yeah, you Chris. begin. Richard begins. Okay, Richard. Okay. Uh, Where's squad? I have a new apartment. That's great. What is life? It's really beautiful. Okay, continue, Walter. Creo que tuvo problemas con Okay, I'm going Hola. to con oh, Glenda. Hola. Okay, Hola. Glenda. Hello, Glenda. Estaba... Sí, le escuchamos, Glenda. Es sí, que lo tenía activo, pero no se podía. 
Ok, ahora comienza Glenda y Ricardo, porque quien tiene problemas en este momento es Walter, con el audio. Entonces usted inicia, Glenda. You are okay. going to read Linda and Ricardo reads Chris. Ok. Ok. Yes, what? I have a new apartment. What's crying? What's it like? It's reality beautiful. It is very big. Well, it has big, big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and kitchen. What is it? Um, lucky with dry. On nights, don't have a view. Yes, it it does it does it has great white house apartment build building build building building. Okay. Ahora cambiamos. With squad. Okay. Yes. Okay. We squats. I have a new apartment. Yes, grip. What is what is like? It's really beautiful. It is very big. Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a barn room, and a chicken. What is Oh, uh, um, lab, lab room, lab room. Espérate que la quitaron de la pantalla. Lo que pasa es que le estoy dando ingreso a, a Walter de regreso. Ok, ahorita lo... No, no ahorita podía. Lo ok, I'm going to share it with you again. ¿A dónde? Eh, okay, oh, oh, nice. Eh, oh, nice. Dos y al cabe a way. A view, a view. Have you? Have you? Yes, it does. It has a great view of an after apartment building. Building, 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 building. Building. Okay. Building. Yes. Yes. Okay. Building. Okay. Now okay. let's return, and then we can continue. Okay. Thank you for your participation. Here we Thank go. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Ay, Emperatriz. Come on, Emperatriz. Sherry, Sherry, she's so good. She's a so good person. Yes? yes, Walter, thank you for coming back and fixing the problem. Let's wait for Stanley Ernesto Lira, okay? He's going to be here in 20 seconds. I hope and Glenda also. She's still in there breakout room so we can continue but here okay i have to tell you something class guess not guess no guess what guess like the brand for the glasses caps and for the jeans guess guess what I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Building. You forget about the you. It is not pronounced. The U doesn't pronounce. It doesn't pronounce. Building, building, okay? And then we have here the simple present the short answer. This is what the presenter told you, right? Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do, or no, I don't. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. 
Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. And then now you are going to go over this exercise. Complete the conversation, then practice with a partner, okay? For example, do you live in an apartment? Yes, no, I. Which is the missing oh. word? No, I don't. don't. I. I have in the house. Oh, no, I live. I, in a, I live. I, I live I in a house. Okay, I live in a house. In the house. Okay, try to complete it. Okay, while you are working in the completion of this conversation, I'm going to take your attendance. Okay. So remember, class. Here we're working at page. Let me check. At page forty-five. Okay. Let's complete this conversation. Later, we're going to double check. But right now, I'm going to call your names and you say, presente, present, or here I am, okay? Oh, let's see. Here we go. Adilman Alexander, absent. Ana Margarita, absent. Carlos Antonio de Jesus Quintanilla, Absent, right? Uh, Carlos Luis? Present. Okay, thank you. You're here. Cristian Wilfredo? Present. Always here. Emperatriz? Present. Today she is here, but ah, yesterday too. Fatima Jamilet? Absent. Fer, eh, Fernando Antonio Aparicio is absent. Glenda Guadalupe González present teacher here. Jennifer Veronica absent today. Jose Francisco Guzmán absent. Juan Antonio Menéndez absent. Luis Saudiel absent today. Naomi Magdalena absent. Ricardo José Flores is here. I hear I sure. Yeah, he's here. Stanley yeah. Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay. Walter Mauricio. Present. Okay. Uh, Jasmine Elizabeth absent. So, uh, who else was here? ¿Quién más estaba acá? Only you. Okay. Let's continue, class. Here we go. Okay. Let's work with the completion of this conversation. And we were saying, okay. So, uh, do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. Yes? Don't. No, I don't. And mm. then we say, I live. live. Excellent. Great. I live in a house. Now it is a question. It is the third person singular. It. Are you going to use do or does? Does very does. well. So we say, does it have. have? And this is one of the questions that we worked before. Does oh. it have a chart? Yes, it does. does. Yes, it does. Great. Yes, it does. That sounds nice. Here? Do. Do great do. with capital do. letter. Do you live live, live alone? Live. Do you live alone? Do you live alone? No, I don't. Does. No, I don't. 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 No, don't. I don't. I, I don't. with my family. I live. Live. I live. I live, I live. I live with, with my family. With my family. And then the question: Do or does do. you? Do. do. Do, do. do. great, do. excellent. Do you? Any do other? Do you live? No. Do. Any do brothers you live? or sisters? Do you, do you, you have? have? Do you have? Great. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I. I do. Don't. Yes, I do. 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 Yes, I. And do. then I for sisters. I, I have. Don't. I, I have, have. have. excellent. Have. I have four sisters. That's a big family. family. Do you a big house. Do, do. do. excellent. Do. do you? I know. Hold How? it. Take do. over here. How? 
do you do you, do you have, 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 have do you have, have a big house a big house do you have a big house yes we do does. do yes we do, do. do. yes do. we do Remember, does only for he, she, it, okay? Yes, we do. It, it does. Have. It has. Does. It has. It has. It has. Okay? It has. I know. Miren, alguien más está interviniendo en la pantalla. Sí. Okay, porque tengo dos has acá. It has uh, ten rooms. Ten rooms. Ajá. Uh -huh. And then it. Many bedrooms. That's oh, it. That's, that's, that's it. That's okay over here. Does does it have have, have money burn? Does it have many bedrooms? It does. Yes, it does. Yes. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It it lives. It has. It has. has. Excellent. Has. It has four. It has four. And then do, you, do you, you, you do you? you excellent. Do you have? Have? have do you do. have? Yes, I do. You do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I. Yes, I do. Yes, I. Yes, do. I do. Okay, this is an interview. So here again, Linda and Chris, but you forget about those names and you use your names because the names are not mentioned here. Do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. I live in a house. Does it have a yard? Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. That sounds nice. Do you live alone? No, I don't. I live with my family. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I do. I have four sisters. That's a big family. Do you have a big house? Yes, we do. It has 10 rooms. 10 rooms. Does it have uh, many bedrooms? Yes, it does. It has four. Do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I do. I'm really lucky. Soy realmente afortunado o afortunada. Okay. We need to delete this part. Okay. So do you have any question about this short conversation? No. No? Everything is okay? Yes? Okay, okay great. Yes. Now I need two participants in order to practice the conversation here in the main session room. Two volunteers to read the conversation? Yeah, teacher. Okay, Christian. Christian, you read Chris. And maybe Emperatriz, you read okay. Linda. Okay, you begin, Emperatriz. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Do you live in apartments? No, I don't. I live in a house. Does it have a job? No, 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 no. I'm going Does to it... stop it. Live, not live. Live. Mm. Do you live? Yes, I, I live. live. No, I don't live. Okay, let's begin. Mm. One, two, three. Do you, li you live in apartments? No, I don't. I live in a house. Does it have a yard? Yes, I do. It does. Yes, I that, does. That second nice. Do you live alone? No, I don't. I I live 
with my family. Do you have any brother or sister? Yes, I do. I have four sisters. That's a big family. Do you have a big house? Yes, we do. It has them rooms. Them rooms? Does it have my bedroom? Yes, I does. It has four. Do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I do. I, I'm really... Lucky. 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 No, lucky. Yes. Okay. Lucky. Thank you. One more time. Do you live, live, live? Yeah. Do you live in live. an apartment? No, live? I don't. Do live? I live Do in a live? house. Does it have a yard? Uh, yes, it does. Yes, that sounds nice. Do you live alone? No, I don't. I live with my family. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I do. Yes, you do. I have four sisters. That's a big family. That's a big family. Do you have a big house? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. It has. It has ten, ten rooms. Ten rooms. Ten rooms. Ten rooms. Does it have ten bedrooms? Does it have many bedrooms? Does it? No, I does no. No. Yes. Yes. It does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It has four. Did you have? Did you have? Yours, your bedroom. Yes, I do. Yes, yes I, I do. do. I really looking. I'm really lucky. lucky. Not you. Lucky. 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 No. Lucky. 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 Okay. Lucky. Now that you have completed this conversation class, okay, you are going to be in the breakout rooms. You are going to practice this conversation. You switch roles. And you are going to answer these questions. For example, does Chris live in an apartment? No, he doesn't. He lives in a house. Does Chris' house have a yard? Yes, it does or no, it doesn't. Okay, depending on the conversation, you are going to write the answers. Is that okay? Yes? yes. Okay. Now, I'm, because you have this conversation completed, in your manual, now we practice speaking, okay? In the breakout rooms and later, you consider this information in order to answer these five questions. Actually, four, because number one is done for you as an example, okay? Okay, class, go to your groups, please. Join your teams if you are nice. Glenda, go to your group, please. Miss Glenda, join your team. Okay, here we are Stanley, Ernesto, Emperatriz, and Christian. Begin the conversation, yes. please. That's great. What song I do you like to you live alone? alone? No, I don't. I live to watch in my family. Do you have um, any brother or sister? 
Yes, I do. I have four sisters. What in this family do you have a bit closer? Yes, we do. It has in room room. Ten, ten room. Ten room does I it had in bedroom. It has a bedroom. Yes, it does. It has four. Do, do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I do. I am really lucky. Okay. Ahora cambiamos. But do you live in the apartment? I don't. I live in a house. Does it have a jar? Yes, it's tall. That sounds nice. Do you live alone? I don't uh, live quite my family. Did you have a brother or sister? Yes, I do. I have four sisters. That's a big family. Did you have a big house? Yes, yes, we do. It has bedroom. Ten bed, ten rooms. Does it have every bedroom? Yes, it's dog. It has four. Did you have your own bedroom? Yes, I do. I really <coughs> lucky. Oh, I'm going to call Bamba. Glenda, who is it? Ah, no, the teacher. Eh, no, sé, Carlos. ¿Con quién practica? Ah, uh, con quién carajo? Pero dice Glenda que tiene problemas, dice. También, bye. Si es, quiere, que, como es, que, yo... es que Glenda no ingresó a los breakout rooms, no sé por qué razón, si se levantó en ese ah, momento no, no, no. o qué, y ahora está allá en el, ella solita en el salón. Ok, continue okay. you. Okay. Ah, si querés le doy con vos, ¿verdad? Dale, dale. Va, yo voy a salir entonces. Ok. Vaya. Did you live in an apartment? No, I don't. I live in a house. Does it have a yard? Yes, it does. That's so nice. Do you live alone? No, I don't. I live with my family. Do you, do you have any brother or sister? Yes, I do. I have four sisters. That's a big family. Do you have a big house? Yes, we do. It has ten rooms. Ten rooms? Does it have very bedroom? Yes, it does. It has four. Do you have your house bedroom? Yes, I do. I'm really lucky. Ahora al revés. Do you... Comienzo? Sí, sí, dale, dale. Do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. I live in a house. Does it have a jar? Yes, it does. That's so nice. Do you live alone? 
No, I don't. I live with my family. Do you have any brother or sister? Yes, I do. I have four sisters. That's a big family. Do you have a big house? Yes, we do. It has in room. Ten room. Does it have many bedrooms? Yes, it does. It has your it has four. Do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I do. I am really lucky. Finish. Glenda and Ricardo. Okay, here we go. I'm going to share it so you can practice. Okay, here we go. Okay. Uh, Hi, Glenda. Okay, Glenda is going to read uh, Linda and Ricardo. Richard, you read Chris. Okay. 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 One, two, three. Glenda. Uh, Do you lie in apartment? I don't. I don't. I live in a house. That he have a yard? Yes, it's down. Uh, that second night, do you live, you live alone? I don't. I live with my family. Do you have any brother or sister? Yes, I do. I have four sisters. That's big family. Do do you have do you have a big house? Yes, we do. It's house with room, bedroom. Ten rooms. Does it have many bedroom? Yes, it does. It have four. Do you have you your a uh, your a bedroom? Yes, I do. I really lucky. Okay. Cambiamos. Okay. Do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. No, I don't. I like I live in house. Does it have a yard? Yes, it is. It is does. It does. Take some night. Do you living alone? No, I don't. I don't. I I live with my family. Do you have a brother or sister? Yes, I do. I have four sisters. What in this family do you have a big house? Yes. With us, it is, it have the room, the room. Ten rooms, does it have queen room? Yes, it get it is two, it is that, it is have it has four. Do you have tools on bedrooms? Yes, I don't I am a reality lucky. Okay. 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 Listen, do you live live? Do you live, live in an apartment? Do you live no, I don't. I live in a house. Does it have a yard? Yes, it does. That sounds nice. Do you live alone? No, I don't. I live with my family. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I do. I have four sisters. That's a big family. Do you have a big house? Yes, we do. 
it has 10 rooms. 10 rooms. Does it have many bedrooms? Yes, it does. It has four. Do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I do. I'm, I'm really lucky. Now you have to answer this question. Okay. Number two, three, four, and five. Okay. Okay. Based on the conversation. We, we need okay. practice, practice, practice. Yes, practice, practice, and practice, okay? And listening. Listening the videos in the platform as much as possible. Escuchar los videos de la plataforma lo más posible porque practice makes perfect, okay? okay. Now, answer the questions, please. I live with my family. Do you have any brother or sister? Yes, I do. I have four sisters. That's a big family. Do you have a big house? Yes, we do. It has 10 rooms. 10 rooms. Does it have many bedrooms? Do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I does. It has four. Yes, I do. I really look lucky. Okay. Okay. Yo creo que ya vamos a uh, did you answer the, the questions? Ya contestaron las preguntas. No. En base a esa información, you have to answer those questions. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yes, yes, here. Uh, no, but you have to answer. Does Chris's uh, house have a yard? Yes, it does or no, it doesn't. Short answers. Does Chris, does Chris live alone? Yes, he does or no, he doesn't. Does he have four brothers? Yes, he does or no, he doesn't. Does he have his own room? Yes, he does or no, he doesn't. Uh, yes, he does. Okay, according to the information in the conversation, you answer the questions, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, please. Uh, does Chris live? Live. Live. Okay. Don't Glenda have uh, Glen. uh, Glenda I have to have to do have house and yard. No, my. No. Um, my house is small. My house okay. doesn't have a yard. My house doesn't have a yard. My house yeah. doesn't have a yard. Because he asked you if your house has a yard. My house doesn't have a yard if it is negative. Okay. Okay. Uh, no. Do. Finish, Christian. Sí, okay. sí, teacher. Okay, let's return to the main session room so we can standardize, okay? Thank you. Remember that you had to answer the questions based on the information that you have in the conversation. But if the answer is negative, we are going to rewrite the correct answer. So class, for question number one, no problem. Because it is negative, the answer. And notice that they wrote the correct information. Does Chris live in an apartment? No, he doesn't. He lives in a house. Now, question number two. 
Does Chris's house have a yard? Yes, he does. Yes, uh, it. Porque estamos yes, hablando it. de la casa de él. Uh, and then we have, do you have an uh, Let's see. Does it have a yard? Yes, it does. So we say, yes, it does. Yes, yes it, does. It, it does. does. Now, yes, does Chris does. live alone? Does Chris live alone? No. No, he does. No, he doesn't. No, he, no, he does. doesn't. Okay. Doesn't. The correct answer is he lives. He lives with, with his his family. Excellent. With his family, he lives with his family. Correct. He, family. Yeah. he lives with his, with, family. with his family. Okay. Now, next one. Does he have a four brothers? No, he doesn't. Okay, the answer is no, he doesn't. And doesn't. the correct answer doesn't. is doesn't. He, he has four sisters. He has four sisters. Very well. And the last one, does he have his own room? Yes, he has. Yes, his... he does. Yes, yes. he does and because yeah. it is affirmative you don't need to write a long answer because the instruction tells you read the conversation in part a again ask and answer these questions for no answers in other words for negative answers you give the correct information but if it is affirmative no extra information only short answer yes he does yes he does and the others were negative correct Okay. So right now, here we go. Look at this. In the word power, we have armchairs, stub. Okay, repeat after me, please. Armchairs. Armchairs. Stub. Stove. Cartons. 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 Okay, pictures. Picture. Pictures. Pictures. Clock. Club, bed, 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 table, table, table microwave oven, microwave, microwave oven, oven, refrigerator, refrigerator, refrigerator lamps, 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 desk, 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 coffee table, coffee table, coffee table, bookcase, 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 dresser, 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 dresser. 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 Chairs. 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 Mirror. 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 Sofa. 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 Desk. 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 Television. Television. Rug. 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 Okay, now here. Which rooms have the things in part A? Let's complete. In the kitchen, we have table, stove, what else? Okay. Uh-huh. Refrigerator, yes. Refrigerator. Okay. Um, Char in the kitchen. Okay. In the kitchen. Now, in the in the din dining room. In the table. Car time. Micro okay. Okay. In the living room. Chair. Okay. You complete it. Complete it. Complete oh, okay. it. Okay. 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 And okay. in the bedroom, from these items or articles, what can you find? Okay. And you okay. write in the different categories, okay? Two minutes to do it. And then we're going to compare, okay? I'm going to show you the images, okay? Es ver un poquito, teacher. Para ver. Por favor. Ah, you want to see the, 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 the table. Sí. El cuadrito, ¿quiere ver? Sí, sí. Ok, and I was showing you the pictures. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm
Living room es la sala, ¿verdad, Ticha? Y dining room es la cocina. Oh, comedor. 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 Oh, ok, gracias. Teacher. Okay, great. I'm looking for extra information to reinforce. I'm going to be sending you a couple of videos, okay? So you can reinforce this material. Okay, who else is done, class? ¿Quién más terminó, chicos? Yeah, teacher. Okay. Here we go. Let's see, class. Uh, we have for kitchen table, stove, refrigerator. What else? Microwave, microwave. oven. Microwave oven. What else? Oven. Coffee table. Mm, no. no, the coffee mm, table no. is in the living room. Uh, mm -hmm. Another one? Curtains. Uh, curtains. Okay. And let's see. Yeah. The stove. The stove is here. Oh, oh, is, oh, sure, sure, sure. Now for the dining room, we have the Chair. five chairs. Table. Uh, table is already. Yeah. Television. Mm, uh, no, in the dining room, sometimes there is a television. Ah, sí, sí. Yeah, 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 sometimes. Uh huh. Another one. Clock. A uh, clock. And also, listen. Also, we can have the clock, uh, in the okay. in the kitchen, pared. in the kitchen. Yeah, because clock, este clock es solo el de pared, ¿verdad? El otro es watch, watch. and purse for a woman. Okay. Coffee and, table. No, coffee table is in the living room porque la mesita de noche. Coffee table. Okay, another one. Mm -hmm. Uh, rock, yeah, rock, so, uh, yes. sofa, 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 television, desk, okay, no, but you may have a television over here, desk, el escritorio, arch, 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 
armchair. Picture. Armchair. armchair. Uh, picture. Picture. Pictures. No. Bookcase. Book, book, bookcase. One more. Okay, let's see. Mirror. Text. Bed. Mirror. 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 Uh huh. Curtains. 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 Okay, Desk. and others. And others. Yeah. A desk sometimes, but usually that is in the in the bedroom, so you can do your homeworks. Now in the bedrooms, I'm going to write it below. Okay. In the bedroom, Dress, bed. 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 Dresser. Dresser. Lamp. 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 Lamp can be in the living room, in the dining room, in the bedroom. Yeah. Another one. Mirror. Mirror also. Teacher, they have a question. Yes, sir. The lamp, que es la, la lámpara de, como de noche, sería eh, para referirme a la, a la lámpara del techo. And the ceiling lamp. Ceiling the lamp. Ceiling lamp. Uh -huh. That is why these ones can be everywhere. You can have one of these lamps in the living room. You can have one of these uh, lamps in your bedroom. And also um, some people have it as a decoration in the, in the dining room, yeah? Okay, let's continue. Okay. So bed, dresser, lamp, mirror, television, yes? Yes. Charge. Uh, chair. Chair. Mm, yes. Chair. Ring. Chair. And also desk. 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 So you desk. can do your homework. Yes, in your in your bedroom. Desk. And uh, do we have book another case. one? Ah, some people, uh -huh. yes, have a bookcase in their bedroom. Bookcase. Yes. Okay, very well. And now here we go over this conversation, okay? This apartment is great. Thanks, I love it, but I really need some furniture. Furniture, muebles. Necesito unos muebles. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table, and there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Okay, let's repeat after me, please. This okay. apartment is great. This apartment, this apartment is, great. is great. Thanks, I love it. Thanks, hey, I love it. I love but I really need some furniture. But I, but I, I really, really need, need some, some furniture. furniture. Some what do you need? What do you need? Do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. Oh, oh I, I need lots of things. things. There are some chairs. There are some chairs, chairs in the kitchen. In the kitchen. The kitchen. The kitchen. But there isn't a table. But there is a table. A table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And, and there's, there's no sofa, sofa here, here in the living, living room. room. And there aren't any chairs. And, and there, there aren't, 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 aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. So, so let's go shopping next weekend. So next weekend. weekend. Next weekend. Okay, only a reminder before we leave about the topic. You know that we use the expression there is and there are in order to show that something exists. Yes? Para mostrar que algo existe. There is singular, there are plural, yeah? We use yeah. there is for 
singular. And we, what's this? Why? There is for singular. singular. And there are, are for plural. plural. So we have, if we say, there is a, there is an apple on the table. It is table. affirmative, yes, on the table. In negative, let's change this sentence into negative. There is no, there isn't, there isn't, there isn't. isn't an apple on, on the, the table. table. Now, if we want to change this sentence into a question, we only switch the order and we say, is there, is there an, an apple, apple on, on the, table? the table? And at the end, the question mark, yes? So yes. if I ask you, is there an apple on the table? You may say in affirmative, yes, there is an apple on the table. In negative, no, there isn't an apple on the table. Yes? Is that okay? okay? And for plural, it's the same. You only switch. Are they? We say there are some mm, eggs in the uh, refrigerator. This is affirmative. Now you change this sentence into negative. There are not some eggs there, in the refrigerator. There not. are not is the full form or there aren't. Yeah, no problem. There are All not right. some eggs in the in negative we say any. Any. For affirmative, you say some. For okay. negative, you say any. There are not or there any. aren't any eggs. Egg. In the refrigerator. Now let's change this into question. You switch. Are there, the, excellent. Are there, are there, are there any? So, para any. preguntas, usamos any. Are there any eggs in, in, in the, the, ref the refrigerator? Refrigerator. And that's it. We only switch the two first words in order to change the sentence into a question. Are there any eggs in the refrigerator? And at the end, you never forget to write the question mark. Is that okay? So we have there is and there are. For example, I can say there is, a, there is, I think, a yellow carton in uh, Wilfredo's room, yes? Is that okay? Wilfredo, there is a yellow carton in your room. Yes or no? Yellow yes. carton, okay. So I can say, uh, there is a cap on Richard's head. Yes? Yes. Okay, yes. very well. But if I want to ask you, hey class, is there a yellow curtain in Wilfredo's room? Is there, yeah? We switch the order. Is that okay? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. class. This <laughs> is the last part of the class because this was in the conversation that we previously studied, yes? And it yes. is the uses of there is, there are, affirmative, negative, and interrogative mm -hmm. form. I think that it is not a big deal, right? But we need to be kind of careful when we use it. So class, remember, I need you please work on the platform until uh, the midterm test in unit or section four, okay? because next week we don't have a class. We're going to be here again until Saturday, June 24th. Is that okay? Yeah? Okay. 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 Thank you so much okay. for being okay. here. I Thank appreciate you. your attendance.
Have a great sí. weekend and see you later, yeah. okay? Bye bye, Salud, Richard's sí. baby. Bye bye, 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 bye Richard's bye, baby. Bye bye. Bye, 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 bye. Happy weekend, class. Richard, bye, baby. bye, take care. Yeah, Richard's baby. <laughs> bye, bye, yeah. take bye. care. Bye. See Thank you, you soon. Okay, enjoy your yeah. weekend. Enjoy your family. Thank Happy you. Father's bye, Day, bye. by the way. Okay, happy Father's Day. Bye-bye. Thank, bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Bye. Continue bye. working on the platform, please, okay? Bye-bye. Okay. Bye, teacher. See you next time. See you soon. Bye-bye. Continue sleeping, please. Bye-bye. <laughs>